today's episode, you will learn how to make your own GSM based laser security system. In this tutorial, we will cover number one GSM SIM 900A module pinouts, number two circuit explanation, number three interfacing, number four programming, and finally number five testing. Let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino, Raspberry Pi, PLC, robotics, desktop application designing, image processing and much more, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. The components that we will be needing for this project are number 1 Arduino Omega, number 2 GSM SIM 900A or SIM 900D. Number 3 5 volt adapter. Number 4 LDR light dependent resistor. Number 5 10K resistor. And finally, number 6 some jumper wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the GSM SIM 900A module, but if you want, you can also use GSM SIM 900D module. The same code is also tested using SIM900D, but with a different part rate, while the rest of the program remains the same. This GSM SIM900A module has no onboard voltage regulator, so be very careful while applying the voltage. The ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7V, but you can also power up this module using 5V adapter. If you don't have a 5 volt adapter, then you can make your own power supply using LM317 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM317 explaining everything, so do watch this tutorial. As you can see in the picture, we have so many pins which are labeled, but we will be using only 5 of these pins. The power supply pins, ground. RXD 5 volt and TXD 5 volt. The ground will be connected with the Arduino's ground. TXD will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 7 and RXD will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 8. This schematic is designed in gates of Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then you can watch my tutorials. The links are given in the description. TX of the SIM900A is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino. The RX pin of the SIM900A module is connected with pin number 8 of the Arduino and ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. A power supply is connected with SIM900A. Ideal voltage is 4.7V to 5V as already explained. An LGR is connected in series with a 10K resistor which makes a voltage divider circuit. As you know, an LDR is basically a variable resistor whose resistance changes with the amount of light falling on the LDR. So a change in resistance will result in a change in voltage. This change in voltage can be monitored using the analog pin A1 of the Arduino. The components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. The LDR and resistor are connected in series. This wire is connected with the Arduino's 5V. The other wire, which is the black wire, is connected with the Arduino's ground, while the metal wire is connected with the analog pin A1. Hash include software serial dot H. Hash include means that this is a preprocessor directive and dot H means that this is a header file. As you know my friends that the GSM SIM 900 a module communicates with the Arduino through serial communication and you know that in Arduino we have only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always say that you use the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes. Now the question is if we are using the Arduino's default serial port for debugging purposes then how we will connect the GSM module? Well, no worries at all. We can define multiple serial ports using software serial library. Software serial SIM 907,8. GSM module is connected here. String text for SMS. This is a variable of the type string. Integer data is equal to zero. 
integer sensor equals A1, it'll be always connected with analog pin A1. As you know, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the white setup and while loop function. White means that this function is not returning any value, and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Then we set the baud rates and a 5 second delay. I have already explained these functions in my previous tutorials. Then starts a while loop function. Data equals analog read sensor. This instruction simply reads the analog pin A1 and store the value and variable data. Serial dot print ln data. Since data to the serial pointer which is used for the debugging purposes. Then use an if condition. If the data is less than 400 means if the light on the LDR is blocked then simply send a message that the intruder is detected. As you can see, send SMS is a function and it takes one argument as the input which is of the type string. This send SMS is basically a user defined function. White send SMS string message. This is a user defined function. White means that this function is not returning any value and it takes one argument of the type string. Sim 900 dot print 80 plus CMGF is equal to 1. This is an 80 command which is used to select the plain text mode, then a delay of 1 second, then the cell number on which you want to send a message. This code can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.